Hi, my name is Akanksha Padhyay and I am your English instructor. In today's class, we will be reading a story that's adapted from Panchatantra and try to solve the exercise portion of this story. This is in the eighth unit of our English book, which is talking about past, narrating past events. So let's begin. The story is titled The Trick of the Fox. Once upon a time, there was a tall people tree on the outskirts of a small village. On this tree, a couple of dove had been living for years. At the bottom of the tree, there also lived a big black snake in a deep hole. Every time the female dove laid her egg, the snake crept up to the tree and ate the egg and the young ones. As a result, the doves were never able to raise their chicks. This made them very sad. They didn't know how to get rid of the snake. After thinking about the problem seriously, they decided to meet their intimate friend, a clever fox. Then they went to meet their friend. When the fox saw them, she greeted and welcomed them to her home. The doves were very sad. So she inquired, Hello, dear friends. You two seem to be very sad. What's the matter? The root cause of our problem is a black snake. He is after us. He eats up our eggs and the young ones. Please help us get rid of the snake, said the female dove to the fox. The fox too was shocked to hear their sad story. She promised to help the doves. She thought for a few minutes and then laid out a plan before the crows. Listen carefully, said the fox. You know where the richest lady of this town lives? You've also seen her taking a swim in her private swimming pool. You know, while swimming, she always removes all her ornaments and keeps them on a tray kept by the side of the pool. When she is busy taking her bath, you to swoop down upon the tray and pick up a diamond necklace from it. Drop it into the serpent's hole. The security guards of the women will come chasing you. After finding the ornament in the serpent's hole, they will first chase the serpent away to save them from being bitten and then will take the necklace out of the hole. Thus, the serpent will be chased away and you too will be saved from it. It was a very good idea. The dove liked it. They flew to Rajita's home where they saw her taking a swim in the swimming pool. As told by the fox, she had removed her ornaments and kept them in a tray. The dove swooped down the tray, picked up an expensive diamond necklace from it, and flew towards the snake's hole. The guards ran after the doves, brandishing their sticks. They chased the doves and soon reached that big people tree where the big black snake lived. They found the diamond necklace lying inside the serpent's hole. Afraid of the snake, they first chased the snake away from the hole. Then they took out the ornaments and returned home. The snake never returned there. The doves thanked the fox for the help and lived happily ever after in the people tree thereafter. The moral of the story, intelligence always leads to the solution of the problem. Now let's go towards the exercise portion. Identify who the speaker is. The root cause of our problem is a black snake. This statement is said by the female dove to the fox. So the speaker is female dove and she said this to the fox. Hello, dear friends. You two seem to be very sad. What's the matter? This statement is said by the fox to the doves when they went to the fox's home. They were really sad and hence the fox questioned this. So the speaker is the fox. Drop them into the serpent's hole. This is a clever trick that the fox offered the doves. So this statement 
is also said by the fox. He is after us. This statement is said by the female dog to the fox while she was sharing her problem about the black snake with the fox. So the speaker for this is the female dove. Now let's rearrange the events to make a story. Here are 11 events and we need to rearrange them as they occurred in the story that we just read. So let's begin. A couple of doves had been living in the people tree for years. So this must be the first sentence. As this is introducing the main characters of the story, so a couple of doves had been living in the people tree for years is our first point. Next, as in the story, we need the introduction of a snake that's troubling the doves. So the second should be the introduction for the snake. The fox asked what their problem was. The doves were upset because of the snake had eaten their eggs. And we go reading and we try to find the event that introduces the snake. And finally, in this point, in the ninth point, we have at the bottom of the tree, there lived a big black snake in a deep hole. So this must be our second event. So first, we introduced the couple of doves and then we are introducing the snake. Next, as we have already learned, we have already read the story. Now we have to find out an event that describes that the doves were really upset because the snake was troubling them. So we go searching for that event. And here in the third point, we have the doves were upset because the snake had eaten their eggs. So this must be a third point, the third event. Now that the doves were too upset because the snake had eaten their eggs, next they go searching for help from their friend, a clever fox. So now we introduce fox here. So let's go searching for a sentence that helps us create this story. And here in the sixth point we have, they went to their friend's house to get help. So once they were very upset with the snake, they went for help at their friend's house. So this is our fourth point. Now the second point, the fox asked what their problem was, can be the continuation for they went to their friend's house to get help. That means the second point becomes a fifth event. So the fox, so when the doves went to the fox's house, the fox asked what their problem was. And then there must be an event where they tell the problem, where the doves tell their problem to the fox. So right here in the seventh point, we have they told everything to the fox. So this becomes our sixth event. And then the fox presented a plan before the doves is the seventh point. And after the plan, to implement the plan, the crows must return home. So right here in the fifth event, we have the crows returned home and implemented the plan. And this must be the eighth event in our story. After implementing the plan, as the story says, the fox's advice was to steal the diamond necklace and then the guards would obviously chase the snake away. So here in the 11th point we have the guards chased the snake away and this has to be the ninth event in our story. Now we have only two events left that the snake never returned there and the doves lived happily ever after. So our 10th event is snake never returned back and then they lived happily ever after is the end of our story which means it's the 11th event for our story. Now the final exercise is to read an answer. So we've already read the story now we'll answer the questions. The first question is, why were the doves upset? The doves were upset because the snake that lived at the bottom of the tree crept up the tree 
and ate the eggs and young ones produced by the dove. And hence, they were never able to raise their children. So let's write it down. The second question is, why did they meet their friend? So after thinking about the problem, they decided to meet their intimate friend, a clever fox, to find a solution to the problem. What did she suggest? The answer is, the fox suggested the doves to go to the richest lady in the town while she is taking a swim in her private swimming pool and then swoop down to a tray to take her diamond necklace and drop it to the serpent's hole. Did the fox's plan go well? What happened to the snake in the end? Yes, the fox's plan went well. In the end of the story, the snake was chased from the hole by the guards and the snake never returned there. So let's write it down. The next question, the fifth question is, why did the doves drop the jewelry into the holes? The doves dropped the jewelry into the hole so that the security guards of the richest women in the town would chase the snake away. The sixth question is, who followed the doves? Why? The answer to this question is, the security guards of the richest women in the town followed the doves because they had the diamond necklace. The seventh question is, why was the snake chased? And the answer is... The snake was chased because the doves had dropped the diamond necklace in the serpent's hole. And the final question is... What is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is intelligence always leads to the solution of the problems. This is all for today's class. If you have any questions, any suggestions or anything that you wish to share with us, Please feel free to write to us at learning at dearwalk.edu.np. Thanks for watching.